What's up, everyone? It's Scotty with Money Vesting. So I've got one really underrated stock for all of us to keep track of. Again, it's not going to be an immediate buy. So if you're looking to come to this video and be like, oh, going to be able to buy a new stock. I'm sorry. We're going to track this. We're going to keep keep watching this. And of course, pricing and valuation is very important to us, right? So I always tell, I always recommend, and I always suggest everyone to look at the price of any asset that before buying it, right? Before investing in it, right? Whatever it is that you buy, it doesn't necessarily mean if it's stocks, real estate, bonds, whatever, even if you buy something as little as a phone, understand the price that you're paying versus the value that you're getting. And that it will always keep you in check when it comes to obviously making sound investing decisions. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've talked about this company before and shout out to one of our members, Martin, uh, for pretty much bringing this stock to my attention. And like I said, I've talked about this company before, but I want to talk about it more because they are going to be reporting earnings next week. So we'll take a look at it. It is a Dutch company. So it is, uh, I believe, no, actually it is, might be Danish. They're actually based out of Denmark. Could be wrong, but I have to double check. But make sure that you drop a like. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Link to our Discord, Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining us. And of course, getting access to all the alerts. The courses, educational courses are also available for you to access. Fundamental analysis, technical analysis, options scores, all the educational videos, members only videos, everything with the link down below. So the company that we are talking about today is called Novo Nordisk. Uh, again, we've done a video on this before, uh, but it's a global healthcare company that develops, manufactures, and markets pharmaceutical products and services. Uh, the company is best known for its diabetes care products, which include insulin, insulin pens, and other diabetes management. And uh, it's a global company with operations over 70 countries. And yes, the company is uh, headquartered in Denmark. And here are some of the things that Novo Nordisk does. Develops and manufactures pharmaceutical products, markets pharmaceutical products and services, conducts clinical trials, provides uh, educational and support to patients and healthcare professionals, and also researching diabetes and other chronic diseases as well. It is a very, very profitable company with some insane margins and one of the highest quality businesses uh, I've seen. So $1.33 or $1.36 is going to be that EPS expectation. They are going to report earnings on August 10th before the market opens with the revenue expected at just a little bit over $8 billion. And this right here, again, you can see the fundamentals yourself. I'm not going to say anything, right? See that, see the bar graph yourself. Very consistent growth going from $15.4 billion all the way to $25 billion as of last year. And trailing 12 month is already up to $27 billion with gross profit going from $12.8 billion to over $23 billion and operating income going from $5.8 billion to over $10 Point eight, almost $12 billion in the last trailing 12 months as well. So that's pretty much more than doubled in the last nine years. This right here, again, both things that we focus on moving in the right direction, net income going up, share count going down. So we got dilute EPS. It's gone from $1.73 to over almost $4. So again, you can see the bar graph over here, consistent growth and shares outstanding has have gone from 2.7 billion, which is over here. So they have consistently bought back shares all the way down to 2.2, 2.3 billion shares outstanding as well. EBITDA moving in the right direction, free cash flow moving in the right direction. So what do we have here? We've got a very sound business and talk about margins. 84% gross margins, net margins 32%. So meaning for every $1 in revenue this company generates, 32, 33 cents trickles down to the very bottom line as profit, as net income. And we've also got return on common equity, assets and capital, incredibly strong at over 24, 51, 83% here. Uh, and of course we got a very strong free cash flow margins as well at a little bit over 30% for the company. So A plus across the board, revenue, profitability, margins, share count, and of course efficiency. This right here, to top it all off, the balance sheet, right? Over $4 billion of cash with $3.7 billion of debt. So net debt is gonna be negative at 327 uh, million dollars. And they do have a little bit of a poor current ratio, quick ratio. So that's something that could be a, maybe a short-term concern, but debt to free cash flow is under three. That's exactly what we look for. And again, they've got more cash than debt on the balance sheet. Now, since everything is perfect and we haven't found a reason to not invest in the company, of course, valuation is going to be the question, uh, trading at 41 times earnings, uh, 40 times on a gap basis. So certainly very expensive here. And we got enterprise value to EBITDA 22 to 27 and uh, price to cash flow at over, over 28, 33. Uh, and of course, price to sale is a little bit over 10.6, closer to 13 uh, is where we're at. So definitely very, very expensive 
valuation here, certainly on a price sales basis and not to mention price earnings as well. Uh, very, very high. This right here is going to be the earnings expectation. So from $5 and 19 cents all the way to $12 and 42 cents. So very strong, consistent growth expected in the tune of 13, I think 10 to 13 percent. So this right here is going to be that growth rate 10 to 13 percent. And the share count has gone down by almost 2 percent per year. So if you plug in these estimates right here, right? So 12 percent growth rate, which again is going to be quite reasonable in the middle of that guidance here. 20 times P multiple, which is obviously a lot lower than the 39 or 40, 12% discount rate, 10% margin of safety, and 2% share buyback every single year, we get down to a fair value of closer to $105 uh, per share. So let me just bring that up over here. Yeah, so there we go. Five. Um, so $105 is going to be that fair value. And right now it is trading at about $156 per share, meaning at least a 32% sell-off needed in order for this stock to come down to its fair value if i increase the growth rate to 15 percent or actually 14 percent to 14 percent the growth rate then the fair value is going to be 115 uh then we only need a 26 percent drop for this stock to to come down to its intrinsic value right ideally we want to buy this company buy the stock buy any stock at an undervalued level right so ideally we want to pay less than the fair value uh but of course $105 uh, is going to be a far more reasonable fair value, in my opinion. Again, this is the sensitivity grade, so you can see that for yourself. Depending on different growth rates, depending on different uh, P multiples, you can decide you know, what, what fair value suits you best. But for me, I think 12% with a 20 times P multiple, $105, low 100, I think is going to make a lot more sense for this stock as well. Now, this right here is going to be the, the overall technical chart, technical setup. Uh, and what we have seen is a very nice, consistent rally for Nova Nordisk, right? So it's pretty much trading at an all-time high. Year-to-date, it's up 14%, so it hasn't really seen a lot of momentum. One thing I will point out is that it does have a lot of gap-ups and gap-downs, and this is going to be um, a, a company that's listed on the New York Stock Exchange, but obviously it's based out of Denmark. So you have to check with your brokerages, of course, if you can even go about this stock here or if you can do anything with this stock right so that's you have to, that's something you have to check uh but if it's listed on the new york stock exchange i think most brokerages will be fine but definitely do more research and analysis and due diligence on this company uh, of course before making that decision so do your diligence on this uh support level for me is going to stay put roughly at around here 150 and like i said those moving averages and support level all the way down to low 100s are going to be the ones to watch for this stock so right here very strong support previous resistance for Novo Nordisk, and that's going to be that support at 115. Of course, if you do get that breakdown below those moving averages, uh, it's possible that we do see a little bit of a downtrend. But that's really what's the that's the fair value technical support right here, and uh, a, a, you know a very very strong good deal area, like literally a no brainer buy for me personally is going to be over here at roughly around 91 dollars, uh, because at that price point you're not only getting a very strong technical support at 91, you're also getting the undervaluation of the price itself. And it's been bought up here several times. So it's going to be like a no-brainer buy at around one, at around $90, $91. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'll put down a resistance for us to watch at 172, 173 going into the earnings. So that's really the range within which it's trading right now. Resistance at 173, support at 150. And of course, 115 fair value and a no-brainer buy at 91. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and a complete update on this brand new stock. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed it, found it helpful make sure that you drop a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel link to our discord and patreon is going to be down below we'd love to have you on board and of course be a part of our money investing community you get access to everything uh, including all the buy and sell alerts options alerts members only videos um, and of course a lot of other educational benefits as well and as always happy investing i'll see you all in the next video